On a little old side street on the east side of St. Paul, there is a tunnel leading from the city above into a large ravine below. This was the only road in or out of the hidden valley called Swede Hollow, where one of Minnesota's oldest and most overlooked immigrant settlements flourished for 140 years. Sweet Hollow was named by its earliest arrivals who were Swedish peasants. They called it Svenska Dalen, or Swedish Dale, and for over a century it was a haven for many poor immigrant families. Phelan Creek, named after the first white inhabitant, Edward Phelan, flowed the length of the valley. Homes of Sweet Hollow nestled in the valley below mansions on Dayton's Bluff, and as the city grew, life for the residents of Sweet Hollow remained primitive. Fresh springs provided their drinking water, electricity was never known, and the creek was their sewer. Newly arrived immigrants would walk up the railway tracks from the Union Depot, where they were directed to relatives' homes with notes pinned to their lapels, and others simply moved into the first vacant house they reached. With its clear spring water and cool caves for storage, Sweet Hollow was the perfect place for brewing beer. Theodore Hamm recognized the valley's potential and started brewing at the north end of the hollow in the 1860s. By 1894, the Hamm's brew house was an imposing five stories high. At its opening, the expanded Excelsior Brewery drew a crowd of 10,000 curious people. One stop on the tour was the employee's refreshment room, where some workers fortified themselves with 40 or 50 glasses of beer a day. On top of Dayton's Bluff was the Ham Mansion. Inside the house, there were 20 rooms and eight fireplaces, all the best for a good life in the 1880s. In the early 20th century, Italian immigrants became the largest group of residents in Sweet Hollow and suddenly reflected a new culture. The last group to live in Sweet Hollow were Mexican Americans. Most of them came north in the 1920s to work the sugar beet fields. Our Lady of Guadalupe Church even arranged for a boxcar to be installed along Phelan Creek to serve as a chapel. In April of 1954, an arsonist set fire to the Ham Mansion. Fortunately, it had been abandoned just a few weeks before the blaze. In December of 1956, the City Health Department discovered that Sweet Hollow had no sewer or city water service and declared the hollow a health hazard. Health officials were amazed to find a situation they had ignored for a hundred years. They found 16 families living in 13 homes without sewer or water facilities. After the last evictions, the St. Paul Fire Department doused the ramshackle houses of Sweet Hollow with gasoline, and on December 11, 1956, this unlikely little community was burned out of existence. <laughs>